Good morning, good morning, happy Thursday, hence the crazy hair. It's definitely hair mask day today, ready for the weekend. So I have a very fun couple days in London. I thought I would bring you along with me. So if you like these kind of vlogs, give this video a like. I am at this hotel in South Ken and I got here last night pretty late. I'll give you a whole room tour, the room's so cool as you can see there's literally stairs, but I have, I have a busy week. I have a busy week. I It's Thursday, so actually today's really fun. I have a showroom visit this morning and then I have an afternoon with YouTube. And then tomorrow I have a couple of bits, like boring bits that I won't show you, they're just like calls and things. And then I have some fun things to do in the afternoon. So it's gonna be a fun few days. But for now, I'm going to drink my coffee, do my emails, and then I think I have about 40 minutes to get ready. And then I'm actually going to walk along to Bond Street. It's gonna be about a 50 minute walk, but a really nice one. We've got blue skies, sunny day. I just, I love London at this time of year do me a favor and give this video a like if you're new subscribe i feel like slicking your hair back is an art form that i've nailed it's taken me a while but i try not to do it as much anymore because it's damaging for my hair and my hairdresser did tell me off but that just feels like a problem for you know future emily so this is what i use it's the michael van clark three more inches this is the intense one though oh, the ultra they call it and i feel like if i'm sleeking my hair back with a hair mask it's like you know it's beneficial it's fine and then i use this cantu brush which i got at boots in a set but also i like to wet my hair because i find hair masks work better anyway in damp hair and also that's how you get the better slick and don't forget to do underneath i'm trying to decide if i'm gonna do a low bun or a like a higher one like here i think maybe i'll do low so i just like to get it damp i don't want it to be sopping wet because my hair is so thick that it would literally never dry and i have this fear of getting moldy hair it's never happened to me but i just feel like that would be <laughs> my worst nightmare and it's such an unnecessary fear but it's one that i have I also feel like wet hair makes the product go further. So I've scraped it back into a pony and I'm just gonna roughly brush it into place with my tangle teaser. And now this is when I go in with the Cantu brush just to sleek it. This is so good. Also tilt your head up, not down when you're tying the bobble because that will prevent that little bump underneath that you might get. Just have so much hair that this could look prettier. But I also love to leave a little bit hanging out the bottom. Uh, don't know why, just do. I think it's just like a preference thing. But that is how I sleek my hair back into my buns. I'll link all these products down below. But yeah, I feel like like I've got it down to an art now and I would wear my hair like this every single day if it wasn't going to cause dam any damage. It's a little dark but otherwise I have a spotlight right above my head and you can't see a freaking thing. So this is my outfit of the day. I'm wearing a trench from Sandro. My shirt is Jeff Avenue. Jeans are Reformation. I've got my Sambas and then I'm wearing my Goyard St. Louis. Super simple. I would love to have some more accessories but I, sorry I keep blocking my face but I didn't fancy bringing any sunglasses apparently and I have some some new jewelry that I want to unbox and wear this afternoon. So I'm waiting, we're going bare. I'm just walking through the park. It's the most beautiful morning. I feel like you can't really see because it's so shaded, but it's bright blue skies. There's ducks everywhere. And oh my goodness, it's so cute. This is one of my favorite things about staying in that part of London is essentially to walk anywhere that I need to go. I'll be walking through the park, which is just, I mean, look at this, it's beautiful. My meeting's done and I've just tubed back over to the hotel. It's literally right behind me, just there. I'll give you a room tour when I'm back in. But I got a little something from Longchamp. My afternoon with YouTube doesn't start till once. What I think I'm gonna do is drop my bags and then I want to get some lunch because I don't know what the food situation is going to be there. So I'd rather eat before I get there and then, you know, then it'll be fine. I won't be hungry. And what else do I want to do? I mean, I'm gonna give you a room tour and then I actually have to get ready because I'm not wearing this this afternoon because it's like a summery event. So I'm dressing for that. Makeup is done. Mine is lipstick oh, i have a new favorite lip liner now this is exciting because i'm very particular with lipstick and with lip liners i love charlotte tilbury pillow talk and i love charlotte tilbury hot gossip lip liner this is l'oreal sen sunset this is the best lip liner i've tried in wait let me put it on i mean i haven't even got my dress on yet but i'll show you it's giving charlotte tilbury pillow talk but 
slightly darker and doing this literally in the, in the camera screen. I mean, obviously I need to tidy it up and I'm gonna put a gloss on top, but how gorgeous. I also have a pretty neutral gloss from L'Oreal that I've been putting over the top, but what do you think? I think it's literal perfection and I am going to order a couple more just because this feels like the type of thing that will go viral and sell out. So yes, send sunset. It will be linked down below. This is the look. The dress is Nasty Gal from like three years ago. And then I'm just wearing my Sambas because I thought sandals was too much. So I'm trying to do like smart cash. And for bag, I think I'm just going to take my Goyard, even though red and green is quite bright, but I'm sure it'll be fine. I have worn this dress to death. The last time I think I wore it was on the Disney cruise. And and what did I wear? I think I wore my sandals with it and I just, I think it's too much. I'm also getting the tube there. You know, I feel like I need to dress it down a little because it's a daytime event. So essentially it is YouTube's summer social, which is very exciting. YouTube are doing so much for their community and their creators at the moment, especially to kind of bring people together. I know it probably from the outside looks like everyone knows each other and everyone's friends and everyone connects. It's just not the way. And it used to be like that. So they're making a real effort to essentially Essentially put us in the same room so we can form friendships, relationships, and hopefully that will lead to people not feeling, you know, as alone. And also, hopefully some cool collabs come out of it. That's my dream. I would love to do some more collabs. You know I used to do my collab week. I want to bring that back this year. So hopefully I'll meet some people today that are down to do some collabs. That'd be really cool. I'm looking so tanned. What the heck? We love. It's that pixie bronze stick. I haven't got it on my body, but on my cheeks. I really like that. Guys, I'm such an idiot. I've just got to King's Cross and I was like, oh, I'm going to be a little late, like five minutes late. That's fine. It doesn't matter. But I was like stressing myself out about it. And I just had some like emails and texts on the tube that just, you know, you need to like decompress on something. And I've got here and my calendar pinged and <laughs> Don't need to be there until half past. So I'm actually 25 minutes early. So I'm going to sit in the sun, decompress for a moment, get back to what I need to get back to, and then be there completely on time. So whoever's looking over me in the world right now, I'm very grateful because I thought I was in a complete rush and it's actually the complete opposite. So just got to Google, headed in. We're about to start a session with Woody and Kleine who are basically gonna talk about their growth over the last few years. They, well, a couple years, I guess, because they use shorts. They've been on the, on the platform for years, but their real growth came in the last like two years from short so it's gonna be really interesting welcome to the Duke summer session one is obviously so you can hear from us about our insights and best practices you saw think I need a do myself portrait but a pen to the pain I'm back and I am so socially drained from that. There were so many people that I wanted to talk to that I was just like <laughs> and now it's just hit me, now I'm here. You know when like you end up in a, a, a silent space after being somewhere loud and I've just gone like, whoo. But Talia performed, she was amazing. I'm sure I put a little thing in, but yeah, what a fun afternoon. I'm now gonna grab a snack. One of my friends has come to join me because I think we're gonna get dinner in the restaurant, which would be really nice. But I'm not gonna get like re-ready or anything because it's just a casual dinner. So yes, I actually am so hungry as well. There was so many good snacks at the event and I missed out on the cupcakes. I was so sad, I had some biscuits, but yeah, I'm ready for a, you know when you're ready for a meal, I'm all snacked out. But let me give you a hotel room tour. Now I finally have a second. Today's been a bit one of those days where I just end up running around everywhere and all the time I expect to get gets filled and then I'm like, oh. So, room tour time. So, walking in, this is what you see. So, let's start here. My favorite thing, there is a mirror right by the door with a closet and there's also a mirror on the inside of the closet so you can, you know, I, I just think that's so helpful. You don't have to keep like closing the door. Anyway, this is the overview of the room. I am literally right by Gloucester Road Station, like a two minute walk, I would probably say. And obviously that's so convenient. And then also maybe a six, seven minute walk to South Ken. So great location. Moving around, we have the bathroom. So I had a lovely shower in here last night and this morning. Got all my bits and bobs set up and yeah, this is lovely. And again, very good lighting. I managed to do my makeup in here early with no natural light and it looks good. So I'm like, perfect. We love that. Moving around into the main living space. How cool is the floor, the herringbone? Coming around, we have the kind of kitchenette area. This is such a good touch. I didn't think it was going to be this, you know, this much stuff. There's the coffee machine. I walked in yesterday like, wow, I just want to cancel all my commitments and cook something in this cute little kitchen. But moving around, we have the huge bay window 
windows. These are just so incredible. There's a dining area here, which I've been using as a bit of a workspace. And then we come over to the living room. You can really see the size of it. And then up the stairs is the bed. And there's also a dressing space, not a dressing space, like a dressing table up here. And there's, of course, my Ugg blanket. But how lovely is this? It's like a little loft and you look down into the rest of the room and yeah i think they call these the club flats or the club apartments the vibe is like if you come to london for work for a month or if you're between you know properties and you need somewhere short term and i also read i was having a whole nosy i read on the like i scanned a qr code and it said if you want to relet your place whilst you're away they'll put your things into storage for you and then relet the place for you which i thought was really cool but i'm just here as like you know it is a normal hotel as well so i'm just here for the night. It's also a private members club and as I said, I think I'm going to get dinner here with one of my friends tonight. We've been told it's very good. So yeah, that is where I'm staying. It's called The Other House and I'm in their South Ken location. There is also one in Covent Garden but I've seen a few people stay here actually when they've been between house moves. That's how I discovered it. But yeah, so gorgeous. I love the colours. Well my friends, I've had a lovely evening but I am exhausted. It's 11pm which as you know is way past my bedtime but I was just having such a lovely evening but I'm all showered, I've done my skincare routine, I feel like my skin's glowing. I have just opened a new oil, an overnight oil so I actually was using the Kate Moss Cosmos one, loved it, ran out of like two bottles and now I'm using the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Oil. I actually had some and then when I was going to Milan it broke and I didn't have anything to like decant it into so I had to sacrifice it so I bought a new one and now yes this is what I'm using and I do love it I also really like the smell of it but I'm going to head off to sleep and I will catch up with you bright and early in the morning good night <laughs> good morning good morning happy Friday this week has flown. I got to London on Monday. Somehow it's Friday, I genuinely don't know how, but I've had the loveliest chill morning and drinking my coffee and thought we'd have a little catch up. I also have an unboxing to do with you. So I thought, did I show you? I haven't even showed you what I got yesterday from Longchamp. I have a few unboxings to do with you actually. Let me show you that first. So this is a bag from their new artist collaboration. Look at this. It's also such an insane size. It's gonna be perfect for travel. This this is the size of Le Pliage that I travel with in my suitcase always, just fold it up. And then if I buy too much on holiday, I always have a duffel bag to expand into and don't have to panic buy a suitcase or a bag that I don't want. So I got some new pieces in from Majuri's Charlotte collection. I love Majuri earrings. I'm pretty sure. I think it's two pairs of my hoops actually that I wear, you know, on a high rotation of Majuri. And I saw their Charlotte collection and wait until you see this. They're so gorgeous. Actually, I, let me, there's one, like, there's one pair of earrings I want to show you first. Okay, these are my rings. You're going to be so shocked at this. I have decided that I'm going to try and be a silver girly. So I thought these were just beautiful incredibly simple slightly larger than a huggy because i don't know if my huggy moment's over so these are i believe classed as huggy size but i really love the texture i think i might actually put these in i really like these the whole collection well the majority of the collection is this kind of ribbed style and you know what i'm like with my stacks i like everything to kind of match and compliment oh very cute they're so sweet i'm so glad i put my hair up today so those are the two pairs of earrings that i got so i got the silver hoops then i got these which are the huggy size they do these in the larger size as well but i just thought this was more me you know and these aren't they're not tiny tiny they're still a statement and then to complement the earrings i got a few of the rings from the collection as i said they're this kind of ribbed style and these are the same ring but i got them in different sizes so i can wear them on different fingers and stack differently i as you can see for a while now actually have been completely ring free i basically went on holiday and i was like oh i'm just you know i'm not gonna wear Wear them and I got back and I've just not put them back on so this is quite a moment and you know me you know rings oh my goodness I would never take my rings off so I wanted a new thumb ring because for me that's 
that's a thing. And then, oh, I don't know where else I'm going to stack these. Maybe we do this on this hand as well. So those are the new pieces that I got from the Charlotte collection. So beautiful. But what I will do in the description box, I will also link all my other Majuri favorites because I need to update my everyday kind of jewelry collection for you so you can, you know, find everything. So I know it's so helpful. But yeah, I will link them down below. Majuri is one of those places where you get incredibly high quality jewelry. There's a range of prices. And also, I think it was about a month ago, actually, they opened a store in Covent Garden and I remember walking past and seeing all the signage and being like, no freaking way. So I actually do want to go in and have a try on, but I know my ring size and things off by heart. So it is easy to kind of, you know, just order it online. It comes super quickly, but I am going to pop in and see the shop. But yes, I need to pack my belongings up because we are heading off and we're going to have a fun day. I need to go to Harrods. I, there's so much actually that I have to do today and it's Friday. So I also think the sky's turning blue which is wonderful. I've just put the silver ones in. I feel like these are more daytime. I'm gonna see how I feel with the silver today and then we'll see if I take them on my trip, but I'm definitely going to say the gold ones. I'm all packed up. I feel like my outfit is a very Friday outfit. It's like a whatever I've got left in my case will do outfit. So I've got this jacket on, which is Sandro. I actually love this. I wasn't too sure when I first got it and now I just wear it all the time. Jumper is Uniqlo. Jeans are Levi's 501. Uh, <laughs> 501, 250, 150. The 2023 edition. I've got my Sambas on and then just my Goyard St. Louis. So I'm gonna go and drop my bits. And then I have a couple calls and I need to go to Harrods because I have to exchange something that I bought from my father that is actually damaged. And then I don't know, well, I don't know what I'm gonna do in my afternoon. I basically need to finish editing and we'll have some fun. So I feel like a real pack horse right now. I'm getting an Uber, I'm not getting on the tube. And then I got a migraine and had to sleep for the next 24 hours and got nothing done on my Friday afternoon. Wonderful. But the silver has stuck and I have never had so many compliments on my jewelry. I guess because I always wear like a similar type of jewelry. But yeah, I got home and my mom immediately was like, earrings and then my sister walked in and she mentioned my earrings. I then saw my family today and they mention my earrings so maybe silver is my thing but I'm gonna do a bit of a Sunday reset at 7 p.m and I thought we would finish this week off together and then I will start vlogging again fresh next week otherwise I'm gonna start like finish this vlog on a Monday and that just feels really really weird but yes any of my fellow migraine sufferers willa will feel me. Sadly most of my skincare things that I love to use to reset are actually packed away but it's kind of the point I'm on use up ready to move so I have this Vichy serum that's almost gone and then this is the eye cream which isn't almost gone I think this is like half but yeah I'm on major use up and I'm trying to encourage myself to use wow I don't even know if there's any left in here I'm trying to encourage myself to use things up so I don't you know bring them to the new house if it's almost empty okay there's not enough in there I'm gonna do this cordly one this is their Vino Pure serum I really like this my only thing is is that it's quite sticky. So I, again, there's not much left. I have to use it in the evening and not in the morning. It just feels so good. I spent the whole day today with spot stickers on my face, these ones, because I, my skin, I mean, it's that time of the month, that's why, but my skin's not loving me, but I do love this eye cream. I'm gonna repurchase this actually when this is empty because it's the most refreshing, hydrating, plumping eye cream. It's different to my Kiehl's Avocado one. This one's more refreshing and that one's more, more like nourishing. I'm going to do some Bobbi Brown Water Fresh Cream. Oh, it feels amazing. And again, something I'm trying to use up, this is the Kate Somerville Dermal, Dermal Crunch. It says it's wrinkle warrior essentially it's a super hydrating spray but it's one of those things that i kept in my skincare collection for so long thinking oh i'll save it for when i travel here i'll save it for when i travel there and ultimately never used it so again run use up and of course i have to do my kills midnight recovery oil i am completely back on my oil grind 
it makes all the difference. It just locks all this in and my skin will still be super plump and hydrated in the morning because the oils locked everything in. The newest thing that I've added to my Sunday reset routine is a five minute tidy up. So I do this just before I go to bed, but I'm gonna do it now because there is stuff everywhere. I will literally set a timer for five minutes and tell myself when that five minutes is up, you know, that's enough tidying because I am currently in one of those situations where I could tidy for hours because there's stuff everywhere because everything doesn't have a home. So I'm gonna set myself a five minute timer and aim to get all the like the bits and bobs off the surfaces. Thing that I'm trying to implement is no screen time two hours before bed on a Sunday. It should be okay, but I'm not reading a book at the moment. So I'm, I'm like so close, like this close to buying a Kindle. And every time I ask you if I should, it's like a resounding yes. And every time I go to buy it and I'm like, mm, and I just don't. You know what stops me? All the different types. So if you could please let me know what type I should be looking at. I literally just want it to read. I don't want to be able to like browse the web or anything like that. I just literally want it for reading. So I would highly appreciate the recommendations, please. But for now, I am going to head off to sleep and I will see you bright and early in the morning. Good night.